We should have bombed somebody in Iran, then we'd bring them to the table just like President Nixon did to the Vietnamese. Well, a militia group linked to terror being backed by Iran and setting up camp on America's doorstep. Al-Qaeda in Iran. These people are out to kill us. People don't understand the danger that this country poses to the world. Ten kilotons in a refrigerator in a cargo container could kill a million people. It is too late to stop Iran's nuclear program. They're at war now. The attacks are connected to Al-Qaeda, but is Iran pushing the terror buttons? Al-Qaeda is in Baghdad. American officials say Tehran is forging ties with Al-Qaeda. There were connections and discussions between senior Iraqi leaders and senior Al-Qaeda members. Tehran is playing together with Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda operatives in Iran training in aircraft to fly into either buildings in a 9-11 style attack. Iran is the central banker of uh, international terrorism and I hope it's not going to take uh, another 9-11 to wake us up. We're fighting a forward strategy to prevent another 9-11 from happening over here. We don't want to have another 9-11. 9-11 with weapons of mass destruction. Iran continued to defy the U.N. by refusing to answer questions about its nuclear program. Saddam Hussein has no intention of cooperating with the United Nations. Iranians are moving forward with their nuclear program quicker than expected. Saddam's illegal weapons program is going strong right under the inspector's noses. Iran is actively involved in killing U.S. soldiers and civilians. But you have the proof. It's fairly unequivocal here. Irrefutable evidence that Saddam continues to hide weapons of mass destruction. We ultimately are headed towards a military confrontation. We have the world's greatest military and we'll use it. We've got to use our force and to me that would include taking military action. War now seems all but inevitable. The very real possibility of war. With two carrier strike groups in the Gulf, we're sending clear messages messages to friends and adversaries alike. This network is helping fight the media war, and the American people have been dumbed down by the secular left. My station was intimidated by the administration and its foot soldiers at Fox News.